All right, what's up everybody? So today I'm showing you a WebRTC app. Basically, we're using Touch Designer to send a video stream to a device only using a web browser over the local network. So this might be useful to you if you do installations, if you do like real-time video streaming, if you have extra devices lying around and you can just stream to each one of these or a computer, iPad, uh, anything with a browser. So here's a quick demo of it in action. I have uh, three devices, I have my computer, um, running the web browser, I have my iPad running a web browser, and then I have my phone uh, scanning the QR code and then connecting to its web browser. So we have three different devices, and then in Touch Designer, we also have three different nodes. So each of those nodes is sending a video stream to each of those devices. This should be pretty low latency. So you can see I can select the constant. I'll just play with turning it off and on. WebRTC, web real-time communication. It's for real-time audio and video communications. It's utilizing apps like Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, uh, Facebook Messenger, Discord. Their video chatting apps use WebRTC. But in this project, we're utilizing real-time video streaming. So that begs the question, why not just use NDI or RTMP or other video streaming protocols? NDI it's broadcast quality, it's really good, but for iPhone and Android, you need an NDI app. You can't do it through the browser, so WebRTC, just being able to use it through the browser is pretty convenient, pretty powerful. So let's look at how to install this and get it set up. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to this repository. You can find this in the link below. And then once you get to this web page, you're gonna come over to releases, and then you're gonna download webrtc underscore td slash standalone zip. Once that's downloaded, unzip it, and in this folder, the only thing you'll have to worry about is just the touch designer file itself. So let's double click and open up that. So once you have your touch designer project file open, the first thing we're gonna do is click on web server node and go over to get network adapters, pulse that. That's gonna get all of our network adapters. And we're gonna to go to the drop down and pick whichever uh, network adapter or IP you wanna use for these QR codes to generate. So we're gonna come in here, I'm just gonna choose this one. And then after that, just uh, toggle on the web server. And so give it a second. And if it's working, then that means the web renderer, which is inside this, will actually load the web page. So you should see something like this. It's more for just making sure that it works. Now that we have our web server running, we're gonna click on our WebRTC node and then get this configured for how we need it. So automatically already when we turn on the web server, the QR code should automatically update uh, for this. So you can see that when we chose 27, we have 27 right here, and it auto fills in what port it's on and the WebSocket port that we're gonna use, so 450. And a note here, if we change a port, so down here if we go 459, enter, you can see that automatically changed our URL, and we can test that by opening up the web page. I'm gonna click that, and then it takes us to that exact URL with the WebSocket port filled in and automatically connected. So all you gotta do is hit start, and then just like that. So you can see in here, the image is flipped. So you'll see why in a second, why we have the option to flip horizontal, but in Touch Designer, you can come down here, flip horizontal, set that to off, and then it'll be right side up. So the other two options at the bottom, we have show QR code URL. This actually does not show up on the output feed to the WebRTC, but it's just there so that we can scan with our phones to easily connect with that. And our other option is show port. So this is kind of important just to see, like just to make sure that you have the right port, you're outputting the right port. And if you're looking at faces or something, you know that your image is flipped. It's easy to tell. All right, so now let's look at how to set this up using a phone. So I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna use port 452 with this node. I wanna use it in portrait mode. So I'm going to flip vertical and then it swaps our width and height. And with my phone, I'm gonna to go to the camera app and then come in here and scan that QR code. And then it should take us to that exact IP address with the port auto filled. And then we're gonna hit start and then go full screen. Now you noticed when it's in preview, it's correct, but the minute that we go full screen, it flips it. I have no idea why, but just something that in touch designer, you're gonna have to come over here and flip horizontal. So now we got, now we got our stream in there. So another useful feature uh, that you can use is streaming audio with this. So here we got 
a, a movie file with audio and we're gonna come in, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna scan this QR code, go there, hit start. So once I start it, you can hear. And just like that, you can stream audio. The one limitation with uh, WebRTC is it's peer to peer. So that means if you have one device and you try to use the same port on the other, so the minute I hit start on this different device using the same port, it's gonna stop that video and then automatically start it over here. So just keep in mind that if you wanna put it on a different device, you'll have to copy and paste a whole new node and change the port to something new. You could keep the port the same, but there'll be multiple lists and they're hard to read which one's which. So just going to a new port, probably your best bet. Uh, real quick, I wanna give credit to this project on GitHub. This is where I found this code, cloned it, and was able to uh, just make it full screen and add the ability to automatically put in the port, but everything else has been from this project. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.